My name is Randy Brenner, a proud graduate of Plymouth White Marsh High School, class of 1991. I live in the local community. I'm a proud father of three children in the Colonial School District. I'm a scientist uh, who brought my passion from science from a high school chemistry teacher at Plymouth White Marsh High School, and I've spent my career trying to bring new medicines to patients around the world. Randy attended the Colonial School District since he started school in kindergarten. Randy attended elementary school at Highfield Elementary and Plymouth Elementary. He also attended Colonial Middle School where he played football, basketball, and baseball. And of course, he attended Plymouth White Marsh for high school. Randy started at PW in 1987. He was there for all four years and graduated in 1991. It was at Plymouth White Marsh High School in the fall of 1988 where he met his now wife and of course my mother, Deborah Delano Brenner. You know, I, I, there's not one specific time I remember uh, meeting Randy or Deb. I, I just know this, that, that when a teacher starts in their first year, uh, the class doesn't really take to them very kindly. Randy, in my second year, uh, he was very friendly and opening and accepting of who I was and what it is that I was doing. And I, I feel like that, that whole thing set the tone for not only our relationship, but for the, you know, the success that we had in the program and in the class at the time. At PW, he continued his family legacy to PW Athletics, with his sister being a cheerleader in the class of 1988, and his brother Andy also playing basketball and being the captain of the 1987 boys basketball team. Also, his father was one of the biggest PW basketball fans and is now honored in the athletic garden outside of the brand new gym. Randy played PW basketball in his four years at PW with varsity in his 11th and 12th grade years and being captain of the varsity team in 1991, which lost in the quarterfinals of states to a tough Harrisburg team. Right now, Randy Brenner goes to the foul line for Plymouth White Marsh. This is where it's, this is what it's all about. They've got to make their foul shots. And 53, Randy Brenner just can't. Get up, Nate. Get up. Gracie. Brenner pokes it away. Here comes Brenner driving in on the break. Brenner drives, scoops, sad uh, court. Randy Brenner asserting himself on defense. Randy wasn't the most talented player, but he was the smartest. Whenever we inbounded the ball, Randy was the inbounder. He always made the right decisions going against the defenses. He could read defenses very well. Whenever we pressed teams, he was always in the right spot. And then whenever we got pressed, he was our inbounder. He always made the smartest decisions to break the press and was very unselfish with his teammates, always passing the ball to the open man. While in high school, Randy was inspired by his high school chemistry teacher, Mr. Ray, to pursue a career in the sciences. I don't remember a lot about many of my teachers in high school, but I will never forget Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray was my chemistry teacher, and the one I think back about the most as I think about my career choices post the, uh, the late 90s uh, and into college and beyond. Mr. Ray was a chemistry teacher that I had two years at uh, Plymouth White Marsh, once uh, in my 10th grade year and then again in my senior year when I took AP Chemistry. I always think of him as being ahead of his time. Uh, in the early 1990s, uh, high school was very textbook driven. Curriculums, teachers used textbook. Mr. Ray was the first teacher I ever had from a curriculum perspective that didn't use a textbook. He had a such, such a passion, a drive, a love for everything chemistry that that really just worked its way into me. And when I thought about college and what I wanted to do, that's why I started studying life sciences and chemistry moving forward. His mother, who was a teacher for many years in the Colonial School District, instilled the importance of education into all of the Brenner children. After high school, Randy attended Muhlenberg College where he was a chemistry major and graduated in 1995 with a Bachelor of Sciences in Chemistry. Throughout the course of his early career, Randy worked on teams to help bring several important new medicines to patients. These include products such as Rotashield, which is a child vaccine for a disease called rotavirus, Rapamune, an immunosuppressant agent for patients who receive solid organ transplants to help ensure their bodies don't reject the new organs, and many more medicines. Randy also spent a good part of his career working in the field of antibiotics, which as you likely have heard, remain a huge public health crisis due to the development of antibiotic resistance. 
It was in 2004 where he helped lead a team to the approval of a product called Tigasol, an IV-only antibiotic for serious hospital infections. Arguably, his greatest social impact throughout his career was the time he spent leading the regulatory efforts at Pfizer focusing on the Asian and Latin America emerging markets. This included a strong focus on bringing new drugs and currently available drugs to patients in developing regions of whom many have no access to modern and safe medicine. Shortly after my time working in the labs in the pharmaceutical industry, I realized that I wanted to do something bigger and had a bigger impact on the, the industry as a whole. So I left lab work and, and transitioned into something called regulatory work. Uh, regulatory affairs is the discipline that works very closely with the boards of health, the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S., the European Medicines Agency in Europe, and lots of other uh, agencies around the world to ensure that the drug development process follows the regulations that are laid out by these agencies and at the end of a very, very big investment that pharmaceutical companies can ultimately get their products approved and available to patients. So my early part of my career, I focused mostly on the U.S., trying to bring new medicines to patients in the U.S., and then quickly transitioned into an international role where I had the great opportunity to work with people literally all over the world. Um, After leaving Pfizer, Randy spent four years with a company called Shire, where he worked in the area of rare diseases, neuroscience, GI, and ophthalmology, where he contributed to the development and regulatory process of a number of important new medicines, such as ones that helped out with ADHD and Crohn's disease. Shire was also one of the largest rare disease companies developing products for very small patient populations that historically have been neglected. Uh, through this activities, I had the opportunity to work with uh, boards of health, the World Health Organization and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to help really bring new medicines to Sub-Saharan Africa and third world countries around the world. After Shire, Randy wanted to get back to his early roots and started at a small biotech startup as part of the executive team of a small company called Paratech with the vision of bringing new oral and IV antibiotics to patients in need. Randy is a very special leader within our organization. Uh, he's someone that not only has expertise within helping us and guiding us on, on terms of uh, the regulatory pathway, as well as overseeing our manufacturing space. Uh, in addition to that, Randy is uh, really an enterprise-wide leader that uh, helps guide many individuals uh, throughout the company to continue their uh, momentum, continue their passion, and uh, see, what, see that uh, what we're working on is really uh, valuable to society. The Brenner family continues the Colonial School District tradition with three kids following through in mom and dad's footsteps. Randy continues his give back to the local community through his time and dedication to the youth sports in White Marsh Township. He has coached all of his kids in many sports and is on the board of White Marsh Girls Basketball where he gives a significant amount of time helping shape the next group of Plymouth White Marsh student athletes. He has also been actively involved over the past 20 years in raising money for the MS Society, which is a debilitating disease that impacts someone in his family. I'm honored to be here today and to be selected as a distinguished graduate from Plymouth White Marsh High School.